Okay, just about ready to get going. We'll just players are players are ready. Off we go. confirming the matches will be 12 ends. I will be handing over to Simon to do the commentary for the final. I'm just struggling with my voice, unfortunately. I'm down with a cold. But really good final this will look to be. Two teams fought through their groups. Just getting the customary photos just before we start playing. And I'll just be handing you over to Simon Pridham who will take you through this Bowls Trader World Cup final. Okay, good evening everyone. Um, thank you Craig. As he says he is struggling with a cold today so he's asked if I can take over to do the commentary for the final so you're very welcome and welcome along the players are just going to toss for Jack see who's going to go first okay so Sweden's Jack for the first end that's on all formats please let us, let us know where you're watching from remember each game 12 ends And we'll start on this side of the mat with uh, Mark against Yule. So that's uh, the captains against each other. Both SMPT Order of Merit winners. Of course, uh, Mark, former world number one. Some good lineups. Young Jonas Hager playing next door to his dad against Nathan Hare. And then we've got PJ Gallagher against Jorgen Carlsen. Uh, multiple SMPT champion Joe Beatty against current Norwegian Open champion, Benny Schorgren. So just a reminder, it's one point for a mat win and two points for the overall shots. Should the match end in a tie, three points all, then we will play a three end tie break with players three and four starting and then players one and two uh, finishing off after that. So a steady start from Yule. Mark looking to just move the jack here. Good ball. You can also see Jonas's bowls next door. He's holding a couple of shots early against Nathan. Yule just dropping short. 
just going to fall away. We will stay uh, once the matches are finished to do the presentation if you want to stay to watch uh, the winners receiving the trophy and the medals. And of course, don't forget to uh, feel free to share this video on your Facebook page so others can see it. Not coming up, it looks very close, a shot ball. So for those of you who are watching earlier, two good semi-finals. Um, Ireland coming through against England, 5-1 in the end. And Sweden defeating Wales 4-2. Some really close games in that. But Yules win over uh, four-time world champion Stephen Williams uh, by a pretty good score. Saw Sweden get through on shot difference. So Mark holding the one shot here. Sticking to the forehand side, just looking to draw up next to his own. I'll update you on the other match scores as I move down to the far end of the hall there so I can see the scoreboards, try and keep you up to date with who's doing what. So, good start for Mark, holds two shots. So you can see there. Nathan actually took the first shot against uh, Jonas. And PJ up against Jorgen. And there's a measure on the other mat. So Ireland, of course, have won the uh, World Cup the last three years, uh, beating England twice and Sweden back in 2016. Sweden, of course, took victory in the inaugural World Cup final when they defeated England back in uh, 2015. Benny took the first end against Joe, so uh, just by the single shot. Yeah, so positive start from Mark, some good draws, that's two nice shots. You're straight on with it, and with his unusual style, puts his uh, his other foot forward as opposed to a, a classic stance. So right-handed and puts his right foot forward. Seems to work well for him though. Mark still holding two. Another run completed on the Jonas Nathan match. And Nathan leads 2-0 after two ends. Touch unfortunate there. He's now left a bit of a rest for Yule, holding three, but uh, as you can see from Yule's stance there, he's on a better road with this one. It's pretty close. Oh, yeah, very good ball. That could be shot. It's difficult to tell from here whether Mark's ball's touching as well. Very close, they might both be touching. It's just checking to see if there's any gap uh, between the jack and uh, Yule's ball. Mark can play a little tap on this, you'd think. He doesn't want to hit it too hard because uh, Yule does have a bowl out to the other side. Just playing that reaching weight, just wants a touch. Yeah, very good. Not sure if he's knocked it just too far. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it looks pretty close to me. Certainly a measure at the moment. Jorgen Carlsen's leading 3-1 over PJ Gallagher uh, after two ends. Good ball from you. Knocks it should be just the one. Yeah, yeah, one it is. So Mark concedes a shot. So that's uh, two one to Mark after two ends. And Jonas is off and running. He's obviously played the jack into the ditch there. So picks up a big three. So he's now three two up against Nathan after three ends. Had some fantastic bowling today, considering how early it is in the season. And a historic win for UAE, one match win from Ali Akbar beating Tunabo from uh, Norway earlier this afternoon, their first World Cup point. And a very good game between Norway and Sweden earlier that was close in the group. And we look forward to a good final here. So Jonas is looking to run the jack on the adjacent mat. Flicks his own bowl over. Back here, Yule's come up for a nice front toucher, holding the one shot. Mark sticking to the forehand, just playing over the weight, wants to drag the jack or push Yule's bowl through, not quite the weight for the job. Yeah, it's a great bowl from Yule. Could have done with it just falling over, but as it is, he's holding two. Slightly wider line for Mark this time, similar pace to his last, I think. Might just run out of steam. Or oh, he's close. Oh, he's unlucky. Could actually still be two down. The players come up to have a look. I'll just come in closer so we can see. Yes, yeah, two to you all at the moment. Just a draw, wants to try and just drift round Marks here. Wants to run on that line. Oh, just unlucky. So, but with that ball, that leaves a bit of a split now. So uh, Mark can probably be a bit more aggressive than he could have been if that ball wasn't there. Mark's uh, front ball there is just uh, resting against Yule, so it's locked in place. Yeah, Mark's stepping out to play some weight. Probably looking yard of pace, I would say. Yeah, touch more. Might just hold this ball. Yeah, just held with that weight. And Mark's using international, so didn't get much turn from that. So it looks like two to Yule here. Just wait for the confirmation. Yep, two. Two conceded. So that's uh, three, two now to Yule for Sweden. Same score as on... Adjacent Matt, although we're just getting an update on that one. Uh, that's now three all after four ends in Jonas and Nathan Hare's game. They're really going at the pace there. I can tell you that uh, PJ is 3-1 down to Jorgen. And it's one all between Benny and Joe. So Sweden with a slight upper hand at the moment. So if you have to join us over the weekend, we're back tomorrow for the UK Open, first singles ranking event of the season. 192 players joining us tomorrow. Conclusion on Sunday. Um, for those of you who attend our events regularly, we do still have some spots available in our pairs and fours, but they are limited. And also our English Masters, that's very close to full now. 
Um, and don't forget, next week we'll be opening entries for the Belfast Open Pairs and the uh, World Masters, our final event of the season. So, you're coming down looking for another shot. Yes, great front touch. He's been playing very well today, Yule. He's nicknamed the machine, and he, he certainly has been like that today. Yeah, Mark attacking. Oh, I nearly got them both. So Joe's now 3-1 up against Benny after three ends. Three all between PJ and Jorgen. Just slightly through from Yule there, back here on Mat 10. And you'll probably see on the adjacent mat, Nathan looks like he's holding a good two, maybe three shots, with one bowl to come from Jonas. As we are, Mark, yeah, that's a good good bowl for shot. There is room there for that bowl to go through past the jack, though. Yeah, so Jonas on the next mat looking to strike through. Big weight, just takes one out, so certainly two to... Nathan, so he'll take a 5-3 lead. Yeah, that's a great bowl from Yule. That's certainly two, probably three shots. Mark's coming to have a look. Again, Yule really hasn't missed much. Certainly looks like three from here. Pace might just hold this a fraction. Will it get back enough? Yes, it does. What a great bowl. Excellent bowl. So, one to Mark. That uh, puts him 3-1 up after three ends. Three down there on the mat as well, so that was a great bowl. So, as it stands, it's... Three and a half to one and a half, no, five and a half to one, uh, sorry, to a half on the shot. So, Ireland holding the lead at the moment. But games are very close. So yours just uh, just confirming the ends played there with a the, uh, marker. touch from Mark. If it stays up it will be shot, which it has done. You feathered that bowl but it hasn't moved the jack. Uh, still one to Mark. Uh, I'll just come around the corner so you can see the jack. Sorry, Derek, I, the picture here seems to be okay. We haven't had any issues with connection. Um, maybe there slightly is. Uh, don't forget, you can probably watch the video back later and it will be clear. Apologies if it is breaking up for you. So you're just unlucky there. Still one to mark.
Best result here really for Mock is to get right on the front of the jack. Just going to dive away. So again, a big bowl now for Yule. He's got a chance of a three by rolling Mock's touch, uh, shot bowl out. That will bring him back in the game. As you can see, Nathan's now leading 6-3 against Jonas. And uh, Jorgen 4-3 up against PJ. And it's 3-2 to Joe against Benny. So, yeah, Yule's just reaching with this bowl. If it holds on that line, it'll be close. I think he's been unlucky there. Yeah, it's one shot to mark. So, there we go, 4-3 to mark after five ends. Seven more to play. Don't forget this final is 12 ends. Mark leading off on this sixth end. Long jack, nice front toucher. A nice healthy crowd in tonight watching some of the players who've uh, travelled up early, ready for tomorrow's UK Open. Mark drawing down again is fraction short with this bowl. Yeah, doesn't even beat Yule second, so a bit of a wasted opportunity. Chance for Yule again though. He's certainly better with his weight with this one. Yeah, just dived under the line. So as the match stands at this very second, it's actually a draw. Sweden up in two, Ireland up in two, shots are level. All games are, have one shot in them. And if it stays as close as this, we'll be in for a thrilling final. Jonas striking again. Jonas has kept with his uh, vectors he's brought here to play. Most people think that's a bit of a narrow bowl to use here. Uh, good bowl from Yule there. I think he's taken the shot there, got a touch off. Hello Neil, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Hope you'll enjoy the weekend with us. Mark switching to the backhand here. I'm just going to try and play across outside of the foot delivery, try and chip uh, Yule's bowl away or get the jack clean and just pull it tight into the uh, block. So Yule's coming down to have a look. Let's pop around and have a look at the uh, head a bit closely. There we are. You can see Yule's holding shot, he says tentatively. I'm sure it is. Jonas holding two on the next mat. Yeah, good ball from Nathan. Takes that one out. So just the one to Jonas there. That's now six all after eight ends. And Yule's reaching this now. Yeah. Yeah, he's made two from that. Yep, so two shots, so uh, we're looking at uh, Yule's now 5-4 up against Mark. It's six all between Nathan and Jonas. Four all between PJ and Jorgen. And 4-3 to Benny against Joe. So very close games, which is what we like. As I said, if the match does end in a tie, it will go to a three-end tie break, similar to we play in our singles ranking events. 
the very first final we had uh, between England and Sweden uh, back in 2015 went down to the very last bowl of the match so could be in for another match like that Yeah, very high, looking across, very high standard of bowls and very tight heads. Although across from us where we're looking, PJ's holding certainly four shots and an open end there. Jorgen has his last bowl to play. Jorgen's got in. He's actually drawn the shot. Four down to one up. Mark playing weight back on here. Yep. Oh, his touch has just fallen off the edge of the mat. Unfortunate there. Jack is still live. That's a toucher in the ditch, yep. So that was a big ball from Jorgen there. Four down. Takes a shot with. Switching to the other hands, very close. Oh, yeah, he's got the jack dead, so obviously holding two. Oh, yeah, that bowl of marks wasn't a toucher, that first bowl. So two bowls on the map, two shots to sweep. Mark with two bowls to come. bowl that will be for Mark not quite shot I don't think and Joe's just played a striking bowl Benny Shorgan having three bowls right around the jack he's removed one you can just see through uh, the gap at the back there and the Mark had just been asked who's his shot Three shots to Benny on that far mat. Joe's last bowl just coming down the rink now. You can see in the distance. He's close for shot. He got a touch. I heard it. Uh, falling away. So I think it's probably one to Benny. So back here on mat 10. And Mark Beatty one down. Yeah, going to miss you too, Alan. Sorry you couldn't make it. Yep, Belfast only three weeks away now for our second event in the Irish Open. Uh, we've got a strong field of 238 for that event, so it uh, should be a great uh, weekend. Yeah, no VAR yet, Bill, but uh, maybe we'll get round to that. <laughs> Good bowl from uh, Jonas there. Played a straight bowl onto three bowls. Just chipped the jack back to his own for one. But back here, Mark just yeah, just pulling up short. Over on mat uh, nine, Nathan does have a shot here to get three. Jonas does have another bowl. So one, two, Yule here. That puts him six, four up now for seven ends. Nathan leading seven, six off to nine ends. Jorgen is 5-4 up after 6 ends and Benny is 6-3 up against Joe after 7 ends. So Sweden now in the winning position. So back and forth we go. One shot to Jonas on the uh, 
Mat 9 there, so uh, that brings him back level. So Mark uh, changing tactics now, looking for the jack. Yeah, good ball. And the jack is dead. Of course, uh, Yule's ball, not a toucher. You're looking to chip the bowl away. Oh, he's moved in. He has got a chance. That bowl can be beaten with a draw to the line. No. Okay, so it's just like. Uh... Oh, hang on. So we've got a bit of a discrepancy here because the bowl was moved. The ball was live and was moved by uh, Yol's toucher. Uh, sorry, by Yol's ball, and that ball should be moved. That's it. So Mark's come down to put it back. Okay, so Mark very sporting there. Pressure of the final. Yules agreed the position. He gave a hand up to Mark when Mark moved it. So Mark's under this. It will be a count of two. And that's uh, almost in the way of a draw. I'm not sure which uh, hand Yule will look at here. Yeah, he's going to play the forehand. Try and run around the edge of Mark's. Just wants to run a bit more. No, he's unlucky. It's still two to mark. Oh. Yeah, Nathan drawing up on the next match, you can see. It's, yeah, second bowl. He was three down. So uh, one to Jonas. He takes a 8-7 lead, and they're just about to start the last end. Yeah, to be fair, Ron Marcus have been very good today. Um, obviously, uh, sometimes with the pressure of the, the final going on, good plays. He's obviously just forgotten that that bowl was a toucher. It happens to us all. Mark, very sporting though, came down and put the bowl back. Agreed by uh, Yule, so all is well. So, map nine, last end for Jonas and Nathan. Jonas one up, eight seven. Here comes Yule looking. Oh, he's just pushed Marks up. Don't think that's in the count, so it should be just two for Mark, I think, here. He's, Mark's just having a look to check. I think it's only two. Don't know if Mark's looking to maybe try and push. Yule's bowl through for three. It might even bring in his other bowl for four. I think that might be what he's just checking to see which bowl of the outside one of Yule's and Mark's uh, one with a crescent so we can see who's his uh, fourth bowl. Oh, Nathan just playing weights. Got a great result there. Chipped uh, both of Jonas's out and he's holding probably one. So Mark's down, backhand side, so yeah, not the smoothest of deliveries there. I think it's, uh, the spin has taken the weight off. Yeah, I don't think that's in, so I think it's going to be two. Back over on mat nine, Nathan's just checking to see who's holding. He's got one more bowl to come. I'll just stay with that to the conclusion. We'll see what's conceded by Yule here as well. Yeah, so he's conceded two. They're just checking the third now. Swing across, you watch. Yes, yeah, so they're calling for a measure. We'll just watch Nathan's last bowl come down now. So rest his own. 
Yeah, well, that's certainly shot bowl. Just going to check for a second bowl now. Let's see what's conceded here. So as it stands, it's a draw at the moment, and it's just who's his second. So they're going to want to measure. So Craig's going to come on to do a measure. So it's at the moment it stands eight all, and this measure to decide whether it stays a draw or whether uh, or whether Jonas has sneaked a win. Okay, just update you on the other matches. Jorgen 5 6 down now against PJ. <laughs> so I just stay watching this measure. I'd say one shot so far to Nathan. If he holds, gets the next one, it'll be two. Yeah, looking like it might be, it's just going to be checked. Craig again. Yep, so it's two. So two to Nathan. So Nathan wins that match 9-8. And that's the first point to Ireland. As you can see back here, six all after eight ends in the BT Hager match. Yeah, good start from Mark. You're all just drawing up, but just around the back, good position though. Good back ball. Second bowling for Mark. You're not messing about. Straight down. Just playing a bit through. I saw from Mark's bowl earlier, it did hold quite straight that side of the mat, and Yule's done enough of that bowl to take shot. Yeah. Some good bowls on the other two match. Jorgen just disturbing it. Benny's playing very well against uh, Joe Beatty. Falls back, yeah, not quite enough for Mark there. So, one to you. Two balls left for him. Back to the draw on the backhand. Yeah, pushing it through. Yeah, very good ball from you. Now, again, depends how brave Mark wants to be here. He can just uh, take that jack clean. He could have a good chance of a two or three, but with the schools being the way they are, you wonder whether he'll uh, look to maybe just draw a second bowl. He has got that split on the uh, backhand to kill the jack towards the camera. Yeah, he's playing weight, so he's looking for the split. Remember, he's two down on the mat. Yep, missed the block this time. Got his own bowl. Yeah, so he's got second bowl out of, out of it. But a fairly straightforward draw for uh, your, you would think, here for two. Left his chalk on, so obviously confident of a toucher. Oh, let's just run through. Not to tell from this angle, Mark will concede the mount. Yeah, two it is, so two to you. He goes back into a lead. 8-6 after nine ends, three to play there. As we said, Nathan with two shots on the last end beats uh, 
Jonas, 9-8. And it's uh, PJ, 7-5 up against Jorgen. And Benny is 7-5 up against Joe. Make that 9-5 actually after 10 ends. So that's giving him four shots there. So as we stand, Sweden edge it on shots. You're just pushing this first ball through a little bit, but uh, always a good position at the back. <laughs> Hello, Mike, watching from Cyprus. Hope the weather's nice there. It's a bit cooler here. Well, it has been 29 degrees here today, but uh, we do have the uh, aircon on inside the building, so it's been quite pleasant in here. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. You're just coming through. Still one shot to mark. So PJ is actually now 9-5 up. So that negates the shot on match 7. So that's now tied. And so as it is, Sweden are one shot up overall. say if you feel free to share and like this uh, video heading towards the climax now 12 ends to be played oh great ball from Yule there two down to two up unfortunate Mark leaving the split just wanted to drift around with his last ball but uh, and now he's only got well, he's got two balls to come so uh, but we'll need a good ball here And every player is looking at every other mat now to see what's happening. It'll start to truncate a little bit. So, Mark, down on the backhand. Just a draw. If he runs around the front bow, he's going to be very close. If it drops, oh, it's just stood up. So, second bowl, I think that is. You're just having a look. Yeah, he's going to come down and have a look. See there, Mark's last ball. If it had fallen over, probably would have got in for shot. Just one to Yule as it is, but that's a difficult situation. Again, the position of the back balls there. I think if Yule follows Mark down, even if he touches his front ball down, that uh, shouldn't be too bad because of his back ball. So it is a draw down the backhand side. Yeah, push on a bit of a wide line. Will it drop back enough? Just going to hold, I think. Yeah, weight was good for the job. Oh, now then. So he's just touched Mark down. And that looks very close to me. <laughs> that does look very close. So we can see over there. Uh, so I can tell you Joe and Benny are on the last end now. Benny is 9-6 up. And Joe's just drawn in for two though. Jorgen with a good ball there on the uh, mat eight, holding one. They're playing the tenth end. So Benny's two down against Joe at the moment. Yeah, that's, I think it's a couple shot for PJ. Okay, so back here, Mark coming down on the forehand side, looking to roll his own up. Oh, he's touched his own, but uh, still looks pretty tight in there. Yeah, it's tough to call that with a line there. It's difficult to see, so I think they'll be calling the umpire on. Yeah, they'll ask for a measure, so we'll uh, just keep an eye on that. 
just pop back over here, we can see Jorgen. Oh, great ball from Jorgen there. Let's cut it down, so it's just one to PJ. So that's now 10-5 after 10 ends. Yes, the, the lab with the hair there, you can see Ron is uh, actually Yule's son, Jonas, who you must remember from the UK Open in 2012. Yeah, and he is all grown up now. Of course, he won the World Pairs with his dad uh, last year. So the guy's here, just waiting to see what the outcome is of this end, I think. As I say, it will start to truncate a bit because the scores are so close. Our umpire Ian is just uh, checking who's holding shot. This is the uh, 10th end for Mark and Yule. Mark and uh, PJ just having a discussion there, maybe about running the jack. As we say, shots are close. Yeah, so uh, PJ is after a long jack, as you can see. 10 5 up. And it's just a just a draw from uh, PJ. But Benny's just waiting to see what the outcome of this measure is. They so say Nathan Hare took the first match against Jonas, getting a two on the last end to win by one. Yeah, good ball from Jorgen and a capture. So Ian's indicated that it's one shot to Yule there on this end. So that uh, puts Yule nine six up now after ten ends. So three shots. So as it is, it's a draw again. <laughs> so it is very close. It is very close. So Jorgen has uh, drawn too close to the jack. PJ with his two bowls behind. It's very tense now. Joe's uh, walking off down the map. Everybody's waiting for everybody else now. So, PJ a bit undecided what to play because the shots are so close, every ball now is important. Now, so a touch from Yol there. There's a three or four inch gap there. Mark just having a chat with uh, PJ. Okay, so we're reaching a bit of a stalemate now. Everybody's waiting for everybody else. And it might be that uh, Craig might have to come on and speak to the players about it. Players might have to be reminded that they do need to get on with the game. So, yeah, Benny's been down to have a look and is now carrying on. So, PJ will continue to. All right, so everyone's back playing. A little stalemate. Everyone waiting for everybody else. So Mark's playing a bit of weight here to this. Oh, clean through. Didn't touch a thing. And Taylor PJ played a little bit of weight, but it's still, I think, two down on the mat uh, to our right. So Brona, as it currently stands at this moment, uh, not including these ends that they're playing, it is a tie, three all. 
wins and uh, and they'll share their shots because the shots are tied. I'll give you another update as soon as uh, Mark and you will complete this end. And there's one bowl left to come on the Benny and Joe mat at the far end. Just watching his bowl come down. Yule's coming up here, drawn in for two. So that's the end of Benny's match with Joe. I'm just going to wait to see what the uh, final score was there. So I'm back here, Mark's just drawing in. Just gone through, so it's two shots. Joe's just going to go and put the score up so I can see what it is. So Jorgen's picked up three, could be four here. Yes, four shots. So that really has brought Sweden straight back into it. 10-5 to 10-9 down, one in to go. I can tell you that it was a draw between Joe and Benny, 9 all. So that's one and a half to a half to Ireland currently. Yule is 11-6 up, last end now against Mark. And PJ is 10-9 up against Jorgen, as I said, and they're playing their last end. And in shots, it is... Uh, crumbs. Two up. Yeah, so as it stands, Sweden are winning on shots. So it would stand at, uh, yeah, Sweden to win fire shots. Throwing that a bit wide, it's not going to come back. Oh, moved it, but uh, not enough. Still one to Mark. Mark is going to need at least a couple of shots here. PJ with a great bowl over there on the far side, you probably saw. So he's now holding two. Great bowl from Mark. <laughs> Screams in the crowd. Difficult to see from here. It looks like maybe just one to PJ. Very tight, Jonathan. At the moment, it's uh, one and a half to a half with the games that are finished. Well, Yule's moved his bowl, so he has opened it. The shots currently are... Sweden up by three shots. So back on the far mat, I think it's difficult to see from here. I think PJ's probably holding um, one, maybe two, possibly three. Difficult to say. I think Jorgen, I don't think he's going to beat the shot bowl, but if he gets a good second bowl, 
That will put the pressure then on Mark. Mark holding three though, we're down to the last bowl. This might hurt my brain just trying to work this out to see who's actually going to take this. Yep, Jorgen is in for second bowl. So, PJ wins that 11 9. So that's two and a half to a half. But if Yor wins, that will give him two and a half to one and a half. And then the two shots, uh, two points for shots, would give him the win. Oh, PJ's, sorry, has got another bowl. So Yor's waiting for PJ to play this. PJ looking for two. It's just going to go through, I think. Yeah, so it is just one. So Jonas, Jonas just updating his dad on what the situation is. So that's a win for Ireland by two. So that's three shots there, tied. So as it actually, three shots, that's nine. So as it lies with one bowl to come, Ireland are, hold, are lying championship. Mark is holding three. So, yours down the backhand side, looking to move some bowls. If he misses this, it's game over. So, all over. So, I think. That's it. Yep. So they're just going to check now because they're not sure, <laughs> but it is. It should be, if I'm right in saying, it's, yes, one and a half. Yes, three and a half to two and a half. <laughs> Everyone's looking around, they just want to double check to make sure everything's right. So you can see over there, a draw nine all, that's half a point each. Ireland with a win, so that's one and a half to a half. Two and a half to a half, two and a half to one and a half, but the points to, that's it. So the score will actually be four and a half to one and a half. That's it, Mark's not playing his last bowl. Yep, uh, shaking hands. There you go. So the actual score was four and a half to one and a half uh, with... Uh... Oh, that's not right, even I can't get it right. He's letting it go. Yeah, because they shared the points. So one point each. So game over. Ireland are your champions. And yet again, another amazing final. It shows you how much it hurts everyone's brain trying to work out the scores. But as it is, Ireland take it. So if you want to stay with us, we are going to do the presentation shortly of the trophies. Uh, I'll hand you back to... Uh, Craig who will film that so I can do the mic work so thank you for watching guys <laughs> okay just going to get on to the presentations now we'll stay live with you here thank you for those that have stayed with us for the conclusion here at the bowls trader world cup hope you've enjoyed this final very close in the end there great effort from sweden they were up for most of that match there and just right towards the end we'll let simon do the presentations
So we're sort of through the presentations now. So runners up, okay, Sweden. So your gallant runners up uh, in what was a great final. It was Team Sweden. So Benny Shawgren, Jonas Hager, Jorg Hager, and Jorgen Carlsen. Really great performance from these guys today. Just falling at the last hurdle there. Someone was saying that it was 37-36. The final shots, four and a half points to one and a half points to Ireland. Uh, Stephen Brim from Bowls Trader, title sponsor. So Jürgen Carlson, picking up his medal. Joel Hager, who is absolutely fantastic today. Watch out for those that are playing against Yule this weekend. He seems to be in great form. So we'll just get the photo for the players here for this team. I'll just come out of the way. And Emma taking the photo there of the players with Steve Brook. Great effort, guys. Really good. All right. And so to receive the gold medal and the fourth championship in a row, your 2019 Bolts Trainer World Cup champions from Ireland, Mark Beatty, PJ Gallagher, Lincoln Hare, and Joe Beatty. The great performances throughout the group earlier in the day and big semi final win against England set them up for this win in the final. Great final. So while the players have the photo there, I'll just say thank you very much for all of those that have tuned in. Quite a nice crowd stay behind. Thank you for tuning in. We will be with you tomorrow for the start of the UK Open. We'll be bringing you live matches here at the Short Man Players Tour. So last word there to Ireland, congratulations and please leave your congratulations on this video. I'm sure the guys will watch this back at some point. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you over the course of this weekend for the UK Open.